This video is sponsored by Real Estate Photographer Pro. They're offering an incredible online course that covers everything you need to run and grow a real estate photography business. If this sounds like something of interest, go and check out their website and remember, use the offer code Henry for 25% off the full price. So welcome back guys and as always thank you so much for tuning in and we're going to have another cracking location this week. I've only been here 10 or 15 minutes but super excited already. You can probably see behind me we've still got so much autumn colour. It's crazy. Um, today's date is the 22nd of November. These colours should be long gone by now and honestly in certain sections of this particular woodland it feels like it could be the middle of autumn. So I'm really going to try my best to make the most of that today. Just briefly before I get into this week's adventure, two things. Firstly, thank you guys so much for the response to last week's video where I talked about how I've accepted a sponsorship from the wonderful guys at Real Estate Photographer Pro and that I'm going full time. I expected a little bit of negativity to be honest, but everybody has been super supportive. Even if people have disagreed with what I'm doing, they've been respectful in their responses. So honestly, it, it means the world. I can't even explain how much it means. So thank you guys so much for that. Secondly, and kind of linked onto that, I wanted to do a little bit of a giveaway just to try and show you guys some gratitude for the way you responded and just a thanks from me basically. I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end of the video, but basically I've got a few calendars left even though they're off sale on my website and I want to give two away. So all you have to do if you want to be in with a chance to win, comment below this week's video, anything you want. You can call me an idiot, anything, as long as you comment and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is it, I'll send it anywhere in the world, free of charge. So if you wanna be in with a chance to win, comment and subscribe. So yeah, super excited for this week's adventure, like I said, and on top of that, I think I've already found a composition. So let's begin. So you are joining me now about 40 minutes later from when I set everything up. This has been a real, real challenge and yeah, as woodland photography often is, just small, tiny little movements and just trying to make it all right. However, I made a little bit of a mistake Yeah, whilst I was taking one of the shots. Technically, I made a mistake and I really liked the way it looked on my camera and I kind of thought to myself, why have I never thought of doing that before? Um, so I've never done it before and I've never actually seen another photographer do this before. However, I'd say people do it all the time. So it's super artistic in my opinion. It's obviously super subjective. So I'd love to know what you guys think of this. So firstly, I'll talk you through the direction that I'm shooting. You can see there, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful sort of autumnal scene. And my initial idea was to shoot this tree in the middle of sort of dark colored tree. I think it's a beech tree. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm really trying to learn about my trees. But my initial idea was to try and capture a sort of square crop and have this beech tree, if it is a beech tree, framed by all these beautiful autumnal leaves. So we've got some lime greens on the right and then we've got all these beautiful burnt orange colours, a few yellows down at the bottom. But it just wasn't working. There was too much distraction in the background. There was things like um, hanging and sort of protruding into the frame that was just super distracting. I didn't like it. Now, the mistake that I made was I took a shot completely out of focus. 
and it just looked gorgeous. So it's the same concept as your sort of intentional camera movement where you're shooting handheld and you're deliberately moving the camera as it's taking the exposure to create a sort of painterly effect. Um, that's pretty much all it's doing, but I think it looks gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is take one shot in focus, okay, exactly the same frame to the best of my ability. And, and then I'm gonna take it out of focus and I wanna show you them both. And they're gonna be exactly the same settings and exactly the same composition. So we have got the shot that is in focus. So now I'm gonna grab the shot that's out of focus. Like I said, same composition, same settings, everything. Um, so I've obviously got my camera in manual focus mode so I can control it all myself. And I'm putting it just enough out of focus that we can probably still tell that we're in a woodland scene, you know? I don't wanna put it so much out of focus that it's just a blur of colors. I still want it to be some shapes and some texture and obviously a very minute little bit of detail in the photograph as well. So somewhere around there looks quite nice to me. So I'm gonna grab that one now, two second timer. Although that probably doesn't matter really, does it? Let's be honest, because it's already super out of focus. And oh yeah, I just think that looks absolutely gorgeous. So what I'll do, is I'll show you the, the shot in focus and the shot out of focus and tell me what you think. It's something I've never done before on this channel, something I've never done before out with my camera. This woodland is, it's amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. I can safely say guys, this is one of the most beautiful woodlands I've been in, like in the UK, 100%. I mean, the autumnal colors are definitely helping. I think any time of the year, this is absolutely gorgeous. Even to just come to as a walk, stunning. And, whoa, have I got something to show you. Get a look at this. You can probably hear it in the background. We have got ourselves a waterfall. Woo! Gorgeous. So I'll be getting the camera out for that in a second. I'll probably head um, downstream a little bit just to see if I can get a, a decent perspective. But I think we're going to get a good shot here. We've got loads of autumnal colours down here. Loads of fallen leaves, as you can see. And this is super exciting. Let's see what we can get. Why did I ever leave the UK? Oh my God, this place. Best place in the world. I love it, right. I'm getting set up here, I've got an idea already. Top draw. found here guys and what a subject now the first thing I'll say is if you ever decide to come down here it is really really slippy perhaps it's just today or at the minute we've got a fair bit of rain in this area recently and definitely rained quite a bit overnight hence the Russian waterfall but yeah it's super slippy on this sort of riverbank here so just do be careful so I want to talk you guys through this composition and stuff what I've got um, in my mind and firstly 
I've got my wide angle on. The Takina 11 to 16 is making a cameo appearance on one of my vlogs, shooting at 11 millimeters. And yeah, it's just working perfectly here. Nice wide angle. I've got some um, lovely foreground interest here in the fall and autumn leaves. And then we've got this smaller waterfall here uh, just next to me. Sorry, I'm trying to be really careful as not to fall in. But yeah, that's acting as a really nice anchor for the bottom of the photograph. That's in my sort of bottom left third. And then that helps to obviously lead upstream to that beautiful waterfall up there, which is going to be right in the top corner, top right hand corner of my frame almost. Now, I've got my camera angled. You can probably see there downwards a little bit. I've done that deliberately to eradicate as much sky as possible in the trees up there. I think I'm still capturing a little bit. It's just not adding any interest to my photograph. I think sometimes you've got to think, you know, what do I not want in the photograph? rather than always thinking what you do want in your composition. So, really nice photograph and super simple. The polarizer's on. Cutting any glare off the river here, it's capturing some of these beautiful browns and orange colors, which is obviously matching really well to the whole scene, which is super autumnal towards the end of November. Absolutely crazy. So, another thing that I would say as well, if you're a beginner watching this and you're wanting to get into long exposure photography, come to a forest like this. In this scenario, if it's dense enough, even in the middle of the day, you can still get some really long shutter speeds. I'm shooting here F11, ISO 100, and I'm getting a five second long shutter speed. I have got my polarizer on the front, but even without my polarizer, I'm still getting three seconds. So yeah, you can get some nice long exposures. Um, one last thing, I was gonna focus stack. I was gonna focus in some of the leaves here in the foreground, and then the waterfall in the background, and then blend them together, but I can't be bothered. At F11, I'm getting a nice consistent focus from front to back, so. I'll pop this photograph up for you guys to see now. I'm really, really happy with it. And what a super autumnal shot towards the end of November. So I have to admit to you guys that I fell right next to the river, absolutely stacked it and it bloody hurt. And unfortunately, I didn't capture it on video. I think it would have been pretty funny. I don't even think, ah, oh, there we go. Bit of evidence for you, hit the deck. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna come here, genuinely be careful next to that river, it is like ice. Um, on that note, I've written my first ever blog post over on my website, which I'm quite excited about. I'll put a link in the top corner if you wanna check it out. If you wanna know exactly where I have been, I have been today in this forest, all the information's in there. I've talked a little bit about the week, my first week as a full-time landscape photographer, some of my failures, how I found this location, how I planned it, where I found the inspiration from, all that sort of thing. There's a comment section below the blog post. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that. Um, also, don't forget about the calendar. Uh, if you wanna be in with a chance to win one of two of my landscape photography 2020 calendars, comment below this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all you have to do and I'll announce the winner in next week's video. So thank you very much for joining me this week, guys, and I shall see you next week on the next adventure. Out. Mm -hmm.